Thank you for tuning in to the Force Production Powerlifting Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchef, and I would like to start something new that I call the Motivation Minute. E.R.I. Meredith made a comment. Bad mistakes in January. Feeling ready to restart tomorrow and be better with the tracking of my weight loss. Thank you for this video. Why restart tomorrow? It's a lifestyle. It's not something you start and stop and start and stop. Part of a lifestyle is that you're going to have success and you're going to have mistakes. The lifestyle doesn't just stop and go unless you make it stop and go. You make it stop and go here. I don't want you to stop and go here. I want you to stumble. Stumble. Feel free to stumble. But also when you stumble, look, what did I stumble upon? Ah, there it is again. Avoid it. Learn how to avoid those mistakes. You're going to keep making mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn. Everybody thinks you have to be perfect on this diet in order for it to be, uh, uh, in order for you to be successful. I wasn't perfect. I had to re-lose 415 pounds in a year. Okay? You think about that. In 11 months, all together I lost 415 pounds. What if I hadn't made a mistake in those 11 months? Can you imagine how fast? I mean, it would be, it would be, it would be a superhero legendary, right? But we're not superheroes. We're human beings. Now, I want to focus on the, on, on the tracking of weight and the refeed meal. And I want you to think about your mistakes like a symphony, okay? You can always hear new things when you listen to the symphony again. You can always hear an, an, an instrument you didn't, you didn't hear before, right? You can always hear notes that you didn't hear before. You can always hear something that, that, that was always there, but just you weren't attuned to. That's, that's anything in life. Now with the snake dad, how do you apply that? Well, if white potatoes don't give you the good, the same result, as sweet potatoes, then what do you need to do? You need to stick with sweet potatoes and eliminate white potatoes. If salads on your refeed always give you diarrhea, then you need to eliminate the salads. I like to think of it like this, no variety. After 11 months, I have learned, don't have a meal with a ton of variety. I just don't do it anymore because I don't want the mystery in case something happens to go sideways when I weigh myself. And I weigh myself two to three times every single day without fail. I even bought a, uh, uh, an expensive medical scale just so I could be accurate, as accurate as possible. Now, I track my weight every single day. Every single day, I've been doing that for the longest. So here's my scale, All right? It's right in the kitchen, so I can't avoid it. Here is one of my months where I track my weight. This was April, or I lost 21 pounds in April. But you see, I had to relose some weight, right? Right, so I'm learning from my mistakes. Now, here's my refeed meal. This is where I am today. Today, I will have a sweet potato. I will have this ribeye. I'll have three of these eggs. I'll have omega gummies, a vitamin C, and a multivitamin, handful of walnuts. I always put lots of garlic in my food. That's just a personal choice, and I only use butter and extra virgin olive oil for my fat. Now, if you are an individual who has to have vegetables, nothing wrong with vegetables, eat as many vegetables as you like. Okay? You don't have to be that hardcore. Vegetables are not going to supply you with, with, horrible, uh, uh, with a horrible amount of, uh, of sugar, just a very little bit. But I would recommend eating the root vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, onions. Okay? Those, those particular vegetables have lots of minerals, have lots of water, have good hydrating water in them, okay? And 
to hell with variety. I don't want mystery. All right. I don't want this. I, I, I don't want mystery. I don't need mystery. Okay. And, and for the last year, uh, eating like this has done me just fine. And if you're wondering, well, is there any scientific proof of that? There actually is. And I will put the link to that video in the, uh, in the, in the comment box or in the description box of the video. And you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in to this Motivation Minute. My name is Lawrence Malchuff. See you soon.